project you for science. I'm never gonna get it done. What? Dude. Yo, dude. All you gotta do is look in front of you. You got your project right here. What, what are you talking about? Here, put this into your computer. You'll see what I mean. Okay, here we are in front of the trusty cell, plant cell to be more specific. Here we have our cell wall, and inside of it the cell membrane. The cell wall gives the school, or plant cell, its shape. That's what the walls of the school do. And the cell membrane, the insulation, uh, keeps unwanted stuff out and lets some stuff pass through it. So, why don't we just go into this cell here. It's locked. Shoot. Ah, okay, now that that's over with, right here, we're in the cytoplasm, or the floor. Uh, I'm standing on it. Now, cytoplasm fills up most of the space inside the cell, or in this case, the school, uh, that's not filled up by other organelles, such as the nucleus and the mitochondria and, and stuff. And on that note, let's go visit the nucleus, shall we? All right, here we are at the nucleus. Uh, well, before we visit the nucleus, we might want to visit the vascules because, well, they, it's right here, the main office. It helps keep the, uh, it helps keep the cell in shape, and it also uh, is home to a lot of storage. So, let's go in, shall we? And here we have the nuclear envelope. This regulates what goes in and out of the nucleus and nucleolus. So let's move in now, shall we? OK, so this is the nucleus. Um, this is like the control center of the cell. Everything, all, all orders come out from here uh, to the rest of the school for this, so that the school can be run correctly. Now we're going to move on to the nucleolus, which is pretty close by. Um, so if you'll just join me over here. And now this here is the nucleolus. Uh, it does similar stuff to the nucleus, but uh, it's more. It focuses more on um, synthesizing the right ribosomes for teachers uh, and other stuff. Also here we have the Golgi apparatus. This is like the mailroom of the cell. Things go in, things go, go come out, uh, and uh, it's basically what it does. Okay, so here we are. Unlike most plant cells, this cell in, uh, acknowledges its ribosomes individually. Said that they did make one mistake. Right here. Although they look similar, this one's a chromosome. She organizes movement around the school and other stuff that sort. So this is the boiler room. This is where uh, water gets turned into hot water, which is used as energy that the cell uses to run. This is similar to the chloroplast in a uh, plant cell, because in, except that instead of water, there's sunlight, and instead of, um, instead of hot water, there's sugars and glucoses. So that's about it for the chloroplasts. Let's move on. OK, this here is the mitochondria. Uh, converts food into lunch, which is then converted into energy, which is used by the students or the cell. So, you know, I'm getting a little hungry. I think I may grab something quickly. Just one second. Oh, one final thing. The endoplasmic reticulum, or hallways that run through the school, uh, they they connect everything, and although in a cell they would be more intricate and complex, they serve the same purpose, which is moving stuff 
through the cell, in this case students and teachers, or ribosomes. By the way, that, that about concludes our tour, so uh, uh, I hope that wh whoever's watching this video, I hope that this helps you with your science project, and uh, I'll see you.